Hi, good morning. Back so quickly, am I? I am getting my armpits tattooed again. Yay! And today we're gonna go heavy. At least that's what I think we're gonna be doing. Um, so we're gonna probably be shading in my one already lined armpit and uh, lining the other. <sighs> so I'm, I am and I'm also not looking forward to that. So <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just putting on some makeup, drinking. Ooh, shit. Hot. Drinking my coffee. The issue with long lashes, man. Oh, I remember I was washing my face. And um, yeah, that's the end of the story. Yo, who is in charge of these eyebrows? They're whack. I'm gonna finish my makeup, blow dry my hair, and I'll be right back. I look like a bell. <laughs> um, yeah, but I just blow dry my hair and my tattoo artist just texted me that we're gonna start an hour later because he has some stuff to do, which is completely fine. I mean, I'm happy that I'm ready on time. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be late for it 100%. And um, I think I'm just gonna sit down and do some work because um, there's always something that needs to be done. And then I'm gonna head off to the tattoo studio. So talk to you later. Oh dear God, I look beat and it is because I am. This tattoo session took me out. So the tattoo session was a lot longer than I thought it would be, which is okay. I mean, it had to take its time, you know, I want the tattoo to turn out well and everything. Um, but we started like at 11, so I arrived there at 10. If you can hear banging, it's because someone's doing something in our stair staircase, stairway, yeah. So I arrived there at 10, we put on the numbing cream, waited for an hour while also my tattoo artist prepared the design for my other pit. And then we started lining out this armpit. And uh, after this armpit, oh, while well, well, he was like drawing the lines for this armpit, we put on numbing cream on this armpit. Uh, so this took an hour, um, and then the rest of this, three-ish hours, I think. So we finished this at 12, around 12. <clears throat> took a tiny break, and then, and we ended the session at like half past 3 p.m., so you do the math. But this armpit is done and this is already coming off. Oh, my tattoo artist said to just take it off, like to let it breathe. All in all, the session itself, apart from that, that it was long, was a breeze. The numbing cream worked like a charm once again, never disappoints me. Unless there are like still like some spots that I didn't have it and then it was spicy, like for example, this area didn't have numbing cream on and it was pretty bad. So see, we finished the armpit. It looks so good. Um, and it will still like need like little, like little touch-ups, like filling out these areas when like there's something to fill out. But like right now he connected this part. And then like when we're gonna do the back piece, it's gonna, we're gonna see what we need to fill out. But this is, uh, my one finished armpit. That was that was a long journey. I'm not gonna lie But it's like it's totally worth it and my other armpit Ooh, I am gonna go wash my armpits like in a minute, but I just wanted to show you So I don't know how much you can see because it's like dirty um, But yeah, so we outlined this armpit and finished this armpit so design wise you can see a little difference, like, like they're not, like they're symmetrical, but they're not copy paste. Like they're not the same, the same, which I love. It's like similar vibe to my, these hands. Like the designs are different, but they sort of match. You know what I mean? So we went with the same idea for my armpits. That looks so freaking black. <laughs> I remember when he was like 
putting the lines on this armpit and he was like, yeah, we're just gonna match the like shading on the neck, it's gonna be quite light. Light shading. <laughs> and it looks really good, I don't know, I, I love it. Um, let me know what you think. So the only thing that has left for my armpits is to shade this one in, which is gonna be done somewhere at the start of December. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna keep you tuned on that. But um, yeah, the vlog is not ending here. I will still tune in with you like tomorrow and I think the day after tomorrow because boy, this is going to be f the healing. Like that's what my tattoo artist said. He was like, yeah, like if you sit, sit, through, the, sit through the session um, with like numbing cream on, it's sort of a breeze. The hell is what comes afterwards. Yeah, so, um, because it's gonna swell up a lot, I, I presume, and he also said that it would, like, the lines also on this armpit didn't really swell up, like, there was a little bit of swelling, but it wasn't as harsh as, as it's going to be, possibly, because, I mean, look at that, it's packed in there, so, yeah, I will update you how that goes, <laughs> I think it's gonna be wild, um, but it's, I mean, it's so worth it. I'm just sitting here with my arms in the air and update you all how I feel and how the night went tomorrow. Peace. I, I can't put my arms down. It's so bad. It's so bad. I don't know what to do. Like the pain, it's so bad. It feels like someone's rubbing sandpaper on my armpits and it's just... I mean, this is not a good ad ad advertisement for armpit tattoos. I just put on some like aftercare cream in hopes that it will soothe it, but it didn't. It soothed it for like two seconds because it was cold, but that's all it did. Wish me luck, guys. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So for the record, I know I look like complete shit, but I could not be bothered. I am trying to remind myself why I did this. <laughs> like get an armpit tattoo. I was not prepared for the pain that came after the tattoo session. And I don't understand why. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen from here on out. <laughs> I didn't know what I was signing myself up for. Yeah, and it's not a joke when everyone says that the worst part for the armpit tattoo is not the tattoo session itself, it's what comes after. I'm gonna have to power through this somehow and the worst part is mm, that this armpit still is gonna need shading in two weeks. And the swelling, I don't know if you can see, it is swol swollen. Um, like this one isn't that swollen, this one is a little bit swollen, like the armpit itself. Um, but, but it's fine, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the worst thing right now. Like the swelling, it's, it's the pain, it's the, it's the pure irritation. Um, yeah. <laughs> if anyone else has had this experience, please ease my mind and share this experience because I'm right now, I'm curious if this is literally what everyone goes through. And if so, why? <laughs> why are you doing this to yourself? But then again, every person who goes into this is not expecting this outcome. So we just gotta live through it. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. So it is three days since my tattoo session. So it's Monday. Uh, I had the tattoo session on Friday. <sighs> and it's still spicy. Um, so it's not as sore as it was, but still it's very, very sensitive. And yeah, like I did try to prepare myself that the healing is going to be a nightmare, but I didn't realize it's going to be this hard. So I already have the scab in both of my armpits. Like, yeah, so it has a scab and everything, but it's still incredibly sensitive. And I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely see the right here. It's like a little brownish because I had like a, a bruise here because of the tattoo. The lines is really nothing. Like this armpit, it's also still sensitive, but like I can move it and everything feels fine. But with this, I'm so careful and it's just, oh my God, I can't pick my arms up in the air. 
I, I, like my, my mobility is limited. So <laughs> anyone who is looking forward to getting an armpit tattoo, oh boy, brace yourself. Um, but then again, maybe for some of you, the experience is not gonna be that bad and maybe you will do the right thing and not have such a heavy black tattoo in your armpit. So that's that. And I have decided that I will be like this is going to be a long video at the start. I thought this, I'm gonna end this video with this, but now I thought that it's already taking so much time that like tomorrow, I think it's the 1st of September, September, December. And so my next tattoo session is on the 10th. So I'm just gonna wait and then I'm gonna get this armpit shaded and then just end this whole armpit tattoo journey. Anyhow, uh, I'll tune in with you some days later. <laughs> good morning so happy new year let's start with that and um this video is taking way more time than i wanted it to because i thought i was gonna like do both of my armpits in this one video and just get it all wrapped up and i am i am still doing that and i thought that my previous session is gonna be closer um but then the tattoo session got cancelled so that's why it took a lot of time so yes yeah, today i am getting my other armpit shaded and boy am i now looking forward to that anyway i don't want to make this like really long i was just like tuning in um it is 8 50 a.m i have to go outside of the house in 10 minutes um and uh and yeah i'll tune back in with you when i have my armpit shaded um yeah I'm like, i really don't want to do it like no i want to do it i don't want to go through the whole procedure i just want to wake up with the tattoo already done and healed um, but yeah, I will see you after the session, so wish me luck. <laughs> I look like trash, but I'm finally back with my whole armpit uh, wrapped. Um, so I will take it off, uh, wash it, and show it to you in a minute. Um, but a quick sort of recap on how the session was. So this took approximately three hours. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because my hair is so dirty. It just looks awful. I'm sorry. And if you're hearing this weird sound in the background, it's my stove top. I used the TKTX numbing cream the same way I did it last time on this armpit and the last time the whole tattoo session went well the numbing cream was working and i just uh, didn't have numbing cream on some specific spots so i got hit with some pain which is fine but this time we put on the numbing cream everything as usual we let it sit for an hour then we took it off i could feel it all numb and then my tattoo artist started tattooing and for some reason, I could feel stinging. Like, like, well, tattoo stinging. Not the full force of it, but I could still feel getting tattooed. And, I, and like the pain, it was so unpleasant. It was like someone was lighting a match and just holding it under my armpit. But it was just so bizarre that my armpit was technically numb, but I could feel the pain of getting tattooed. Scale from one to 10, I would say like a seven or an eight, which is uh, like, it would be even worse if I didn't have the numbing cream, I'm sure. But still, I was so confused. Why didn't it work this time? Like, what did I do wrong? But anyway, and also I'm so happy they're both finally done. I feel so complete in this area. I love it. I will go wash it right now and reveal it to you. Oh, that shit's spicy. So technically my whole armpit is like numb, but also isn't. I don't know how to describe that to you. Oh, so I like I washed it and I tapped it with a water ta water towel, a paper towel. And uh, then I sprayed on like an aftercare spray. My, my tattoo artist gave it to me because he, uh, uh, he said that I will need it uh, for like to, like this knee evening and tomorrow morning and then I don't have to use it anymore. Um, it like uh, cleans out all the bacteria. So that's why it probably stings. And I uh, got some water on me. And also, I don't know why did nobody tell me, but I had mascara on my eyelids before. You probably saw that, I didn't. Other than the fact that I look like complete absolute trash, I'm really happy with my armpit tattoos. 
So with this armpit, um, it is a bit bigger than this one because the design of this sleeve went lower rather than this one. You can see that. Um, also, we added some new little swirls here because it was like just like a blank spot and it looked awkward. So my tattoo artist added like little clouds here going with the theme that I have here. Like I have little swirls here and all that. And um, oh, and we also like matched it up with the shading like here. And I didn't have numbing cream here, so that was pretty painful. I will tune in with you later, like maybe a couple of days later or whatever, and I'll let you know how that went. But other than that, I am really happy with my armpits filled in and I look very complete up here right now and I'm so happy about it. So I'll see you in a couple of days probably. <laughs> up close and personal, but check out my makeup look. I haven't done makeup in like forever. Yeah, but I think my trying to look good is sort of a failure because my hair looks greasy and I'm like trying out a new shampoo and it sucks. It smells really good, but it sucks because not even 12 hours later and my hair looks greasy, but I washed it like yesterday. The video is not about all of this jazz but I will finally try to wrap up this video because it's been a long one probably it is day three of this whole thing first off the healing is already twice as better as it was the last time I think last time it was because I had both of my armpits tattooed and so like the healing process was taking slower and also at this time I sort of made changes of how I sleep sort of like last time. I was doing this thing where I just sleep with a shirt on just so I just don't stain my armpits and I'm gonna show you how I slept now just in case someone can take this advice or tips in the future with them who want their armpits tattooed because sleeping is the most uncomfortable thing when you have your armpits tattooed. But it also depends on what kind of a sleeper you are. Do you sleep on your back? Do you not sleep on your back? So I sleep on my back only when I'm fully asleep. Like I fall asleep on my side, but when I wake up, I'm for some reason on my back, but I can't fall asleep on my back. Make sense? Okay. So for me, the biggest issue was when you have a fresh armpit tattoo, you basically have to just lie on your back and have your arm at like a 90 degree angle or a little bit higher, but I can't like put it much higher than this because it feels like it's stretching the scab. Um, so just like a 90 degree angle here. <laughs> and so just basically sleep like this. Uh, or I found a new way. Uh, so the first night uh, after I got my tattoo, I didn't sleep at all. I was just in bed trying to find a position to sleep in because I could not fall asleep on my back whatsoever. And it was a horrible night. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my sleeping arrangements. So maybe some of you who are gonna get armpit tattoos can uh, take this with you. This is my bed. Um, so first of all, if you have like an old black t-shirt lie down right where your like shoulders and armpit is. Uh, so I did that and I took another big t-shirt and I wrapped my pillow in it. So when I lay down, like on my side, I stick this in between my armpit. So my armpit is kind of like upwards and it's not closed because when the armpit is closed, it like gets sweaty and it's not good for a healing tattoo. So yeah, I, I did this and it worked perfectly and I could sleep on my side and it was comfortable. So yeah, maybe some of you can take this uh, as a tip. I don't know. So that was my sleeping arrangement. Um, but yeah, uh, so far so good with the whole healing process. Um, the only thing that's really annoying and maybe people who have um, armpit tattoos had or have had armpit tattoos done, they know that like before you get the tattoo, you obviously have to shave your armpits and everything. And um, like I shave my armpits, uh, not on a daily, but like once in two days or something. And um, so of course I can't shave it now. And now it has reached the point where like the hairs 
in my armpit are coming out and you know, you know like when you shave frequently the hairs come out really sharp and now it's just it's so unpleasant because it feels like it's scratching me but I'm also so afraid to try and shave it because I don't want to damage the tattoo so I'm just gonna power through and if I hold my arm like this which I should do anyway it's fine but if I try to put it down it just it's it feels weird I have no idea if I've answered any questions around armpit tattoos during this video so if you have some questions uh please leave them in the comments or i can make like a q a video about armpit tattoos because that's this is a whole nother topic of tattoo because this is so different of an experience than any other tattoo i have ever had and i can straight off the bat tell you that this has been the most painful experience in my tattoo journey ever like healing wise Maybe someone else has a different experience. I don't know, maybe I'm just too sensitive or my armpits are too sensitive or I don't know. Because right now, because of the like pain and discomfort, I'm like, oh, why did I do this? But I know fully well why I did this. These are my armpit tattoos. I hope you liked this video and this long journey. I'm sorry, like my videos are probably a pain in the ass, but <laughs> yeah, I hope you have a happy new year. I hope all of your dreams and, and wishes are gonna come true this year. And yeah, as I said, if you have any questions about these crazy tattoos, then leave them in the comments down below. And I think I'll see you very soon, hopefully very soon in one of my next videos. So bye guys.